everybody Ann here just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you because it's too gosh darn hot on the porch again it is like I don't know eight eight o'clock in the morning and it's like 83 degrees but it feels like it's 88 so that's crazy well today I want to taste the wine I want to taste the veggies and I want to put the dog tie out thingy out and put uh, Betty's new harness on and have a look around to see how the plants are doing after I got to water them yesterday with all that water Mr. Lucas gave me. Whew. So it's going to be hot, so I'm not going to do any major projects today. Just kind of chill out and see what's going on. I may even rearrange some things inside the tiny house because i got to get ready for my parents to come because they're bringing me some stuff. So, well, let's just get going. Let's start with the veggies. First, let's take this off. I'm going to set this off to the side here. And you can see it still has, it's beneath the water, which is good. Let me smell it. Mmm, oh yes, this smells like it's supposed to smell. And it's kind of a, I don't know how to describe it, kind of a pickly smell. <laughs> All right, let me just pull this off to the side and I'm going to get a, a little piece. Oh, it's still crunchy. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. All right, here we go. Oh, you guys, it is very, very good. It just tastes like pickled vegetables. Mm. Okay, that's good. That's working just like it's supposed to. Mm, mm, mm. I'd say they're just about done. That makes me abundantly happy. Now let's check out this wine. I've been stirring it every day. And let me just pull this over a little bit. Oh, it smells very boozy. No, it doesn't smell yeasty anymore. Here, let me see if I can get this light over here so you can see. It's still bubbling like crazy. It's not ready to put in the bottle yet. Let's give it a nice good stir. Alrighty, and I'm just I'm just gonna kind of get some on the spoon and taste it. Oh my goodness. This this is definitely definitely going to be good wine. It is, it tastes like wine right now. Very little yeasty taste to it. So I think one, two days tops, it's going to go in the bottle. Oh my goodness. They've gotten even taller. Look at that. And I'm not going to uncover it, but I can tell the others are trying to come up here. I can tell because the earth is a little bit higher. So I'm going to have to put some more soil and mulch and whatnot on that. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. And this is after I watered everything. Look at how big my pepper's getting. Look at it. It's getting so big. Yes. This is just the sweet red pepper. And all these others are doing just fine. Looks like my carrots are trying to come back a little tiny bit. Let's see. Is there any caterpillars on them today? Nope. No caterpillars. And look at these blooms. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of them. Look at, there's one there. There's two more there. One more there. Now, I don't know that these will all produce fruits, but let me see if I can get a good shot of the underside of this beautiful bloom. Look. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. Everything else is doing okay. That's doing all right. The peppers that I tried to grow from seed are doing absolutely nothing. Brussels sprouts are not taking off, so I'm gonna get some more water and uh, I've got some fertilizer. I'm just gonna throw that on them. Cucumbers aren't dead. <laughs> I got one zucchini plant that's doing okay. Let's see, do we have any flowers yet? No, just dead leaves. Well, the flowers are gonna come. They are coming. Oh. Look at that one over there. It has flowers on it. That is, what is that, spaghetti squash. So, very cool. We'll get a closer look at those later. Uh, tomatoes are looking fine. I'm just going to leave them alone, not going to do anything with them. Hopefully they'll be okay. And the beans aren't dead yet. <laughs> they aren't dead. They're, they keep trying to grow. 
So let's look at this spaghetti squash. I'm gonna get little blooms. Whoops, where is this? Little blooms. Yep, makes me happy. And, uh, well, this watermelon is doing basically absolutely nothing. So that's what these garden beds look like. I went around at least to a few of the buckets and put some of that mulch stuff in it, even these sickly tomatoes, and uh, healed this up. Really, it needs soil, but I don't know. There's soil and, and uh, mulch stuff mixed in with that. And hopefully this will help keep these buckets a little bit more damp. Um, I wish I had done this yesterday, like somebody had suggested, and um, wet it after I put it on. But I didn't, so it's on today, and hopefully this will help solve part of the problem. And I'm just hoping that uh, some of this other stuff just grows and I get some vegetables. Okay, this can't be good. It's not good, right? A beetle? A beetle on my rosemary? Oh no. Now I know these look a little bit wilted now just because of the sun, but these just basically grew before my eyes yesterday. They just perked up so much after having that really nice deep soaking of water. So that really, really is awesome. These beans are doing better here. So hopefully I will get some beans. Uh, what I do do is I take off the first little tiny beans off of each plant in hopes of increasing the yield later. Hopefully that will work. It's worked for me in the past. Carrots doing absolutely nothing. And you know what? Why even have a lettuce bed? Seriously, why do I even have this when I've got wild lettuce growing all over the place? But, well, lettuce is trying to poke up a little bit more. I might just cut some of it back and eat it. You know, what the heck. Would you look at that, guys? I got it on, and it was very easy to put on. I only had to adjust these straps here, and uh, I think that's an appropriate fit. So we're going to go outside and see how she does on this. So far, so good. I hate it that she loves to go over to that spot and take her little potty. But she's she seems not bothered by it at all. I've had other harnesses on her before, and she really hated them. But this one seems to seems to fit pretty good. It's much cooler out here, isn't it, Betty? Yes, indeed. Well, now I've got to figure out a place to put the little rotating clampy thing. Um, also, what I like about this is, look at that. This right here, I can get a good hold on her and it doesn't strain her neck or anything, so that is very awesome. Alrighty, I have to find a place to put the tie-out thingy the ground all the way over here and I picked a spot that wasn't likely to collect a lot of water and it this looks like a pretty solid spot because I'm putting those bolts down into the earth and they're pretty long I wish I would have showed them to you beforehand um, very steady and this slopes down slightly so if the water's not going to stand right here um, so hopefully this will be strong enough to contain her uh, we'll see, but she's got plenty of room. She can get all the way over there if she wants to, and she can also get over by me uh, when I'm cooking on the rocket stove, so that's another good thing. I may have to move this chicken coop yet again. <laughs> chicken coop, quail coop, whatever I'm going to put in there. Um, so it's slowly come together a little bit by little. I think this is going to be so much more comfortable for her because she can get all the way over there, all the way over there as the sun shifts so will the shade so she can just find her little shady spot multiple different locations she can choose from so hopefully this will work guys I think it is I think it's a better solution than the tree I just found out that my parents are coming the middle of this week they were going to be coming like towards the 20th but they're going to get here on Tuesday night so we'll have Wednesday and Thursday to spend together which is exciting because hopefully we'll get to do the goodwill I don't know if we will or not but and the weather is going to be milder during those days too. It's going to be like one day 81, the next 85. It's still going to be warm but not as miserable as it has been and believe me it is miserable right now. This thing right here, this has saved my butt. <laughs> 
Anyways, um, you know what? That harness, Betty seems to like it. It seems to have a calming effect on her. Now, I noticed when looking through some of the footage that I'm going to have to um, tighten it up uh, this area, not underneath under her chest, but up around here. Just tighten it up just a teeny little bit. So I'm going to do that, and um, she seems to like having the range that she has now. It's just, it's nice. She has multiple different spots she can go to, and uh, so, yeah, that's worked out great. And both the harness and the little rotating tie-down things uh, thing was given to me by uh, subscribers, so thank you guys. It's made a huge difference. Well, what I gotta do now is I gotta get inside this cabin and rearrange some things in preparation for the stuff that my mom and dad are bringing. Um, some of it's gonna be storage and whatnot. So I'm gonna do that now and I'll show you the footage probably tomorrow. And I've got a couple other things that I filmed that I wanna show you too. A couple of them are like, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they're not deadly or harmful, but we'll see tomorrow. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.